a Civ game, but with a twist. Every single tile has a barbarian camp on it. Welcome to Barbarian Hell. Wish me luck. We're playing as Gilgamesh of Sumeria. He's on a quest, an epic quest to defeat all the barbarians. Also, every time we clear a barb camp, we get a tribal village reward. This bonus will be insane this game, though we'll probably need it. Here we go, we settle and we immediately get 230 gold. Now, what do we do about the barbarians? I guess we just start clubbing them. We also get my favorite military unit, the Wokot. It's a donkey. Just gonna spam tons of them. Back to clubbing barbarians. The almighty donkey joins the battle. Go, mighty donkey, destroy the barb camp. They free the builder. Nice. Can't do much with a builder. Every tile has a barbarian on it. Just keep fighting the barbs. Just keep clearing the camps. The best thing about playing Sumeria is the donkey. I just love it. Donkeys. Much better than those lame damn horses. Hey, barb, you interrupt my donkey praising. Somehow this led us to discover law. Discipline? Be better at fighting those interrupting barbarians. God king, because we are a god king. Look at us. Another donkey joins the battlefield. More donkeys. More fun. These two scouts move from their camps. I think it's because they became active. What I mean by that is they're trying to find our city and then go back to their camp to start spawning barbarian warriors and horsemen to destroy us. But they left their camp unprotected. Damn barbs. Go donkey. Kill the scout. Builder capture the camp. And again, donkey clears the camp. We have enough faith to pick a pantheon. I think there's one for clearing barb camps. Here it is. Initiation rights. 50 faith per camp and your warrior heals. Looking how many barbarian camps there are. This is actually a good pantheon for once. We could maybe try to expand. Let's try. Buy a settler and we still have enough to buy a monument. Surprisingly peaceful. Managed to stop all the barb camps from activating. Even improved some tiles. Go little settler found another city. Oh shit, what the hell? How are you spawning? You didn't scout my capital. They captured our settler. Here come the bobs. They killed our scout. Donkeys, keep us safe. Archers will help you. One by one, the barbarian horde has fallen. This barbarian attack shows that we need a lot more donkeys. With the maneuver card, we'll build 50% more. What is this? Every time we come close to the settler, they move it away. Bobs are learning. No, not again. Stop moving my settler. Fine, I'll just get more money and get a new settler. More camps are activating. Stop that scout. Clear those camps. More donkeys. After a long fight against barbarians, we finally have a second city. Take that, barbarian hordes. We have 1100 gold. Definitely can spare some money to buy a monument. How does this keep happening? I'm starting to think it's just random. Retreat. Retreat from the north. More donkeys. <laughs> Drop out the donkeys. No more exclamations. No more invasions. Buy more tiles. Drop more woods. Get more donkeys. I pray that these horses are not horses but actually are barb horse. If you didn't know, there's a unit, the horse, and there's also a unit, barbarian horse. The difference is, the barbarian horse is weak, and the real horse will wreck us. They are weak barbarian horsemen. Thank you, Anu. Guess no one has researched horses yet. The barbs are somewhat under control, or at least I feel comfortable enough to build some campuses for more science. In the north, we have stabilized and are trying to get our settler back. We got Magnus the governor, promoted him. Now when we buy a settler, we don't lose population. Looking that we have three. 337 era points, I think it's safe to say the next era is golden. With 4000 fate, we'll be able to buy quite a lot of settlers. 2000 gold just sitting here doing nothing. Let's buy 10 more donkeys. The donkeys deserve a monument in their honor. I dedicate this ziggurat to the brave donkeys that keep us safe. Our military has increased substantially. Time to push further into barb lands. Stacking towards knights, still trying to get back our settler. I refuse to give up on you. Cool, a relic. These are really hard to find, very low drop chance. The classical era is a golden age. Only one thing to get, monumentality. With almost 6000 fate, we'll be able to buy, I don't know, like 20 settlers. Also grab Bengala to give us more science and culture. Buying more settlers, more donkeys. You might be wondering, where are all the barbs? They're behind the wall. What wall? These are Sparta's walls. I mean Sumeria's walls. <laughs> A wall of soldiers keeping the barbarian hordes at bay. Whoa, look how many technologies we boosted. Thank you, barbarians. Wait a second, do I see a border? I do, it's Colombia. Look at Colombia's stats, they aren't doing the best. Let's help them out, clear some barbarians around them. Total not surrounding them for an attack. Finished ancestral hall, so now when we settle, we get a free builder. Been waiting for it to finish and the settlers to get into position. Yes, we did it! Finally freed our captured settler. Side quest completed. Back to the main quest, fighting bobs and winning the game. Wait, you can get a free technology from goodie huts? Not just a boost.
loose, but the whole tech didn't know that. While fighting barbarians in the west, we got an idea. What if we strapped some metal on a donkey? That is how knights were invented. Forward settle in Colombia to create a forward operating base for our invasion. Upgrading war chariots to knights. I have a theory, and with this great scientist that triggers three Eurekas in the classical era, I will test it. He gives us a boost to navigation, mathematics and engineering, but we have already boosted all of them. My theory is, he will just complete them. Let's see. Yes, he did. We have engineering, but we don't know what a wheel is. So if you boost the technology twice, you get it. Very interesting. I'm thinking and I'm trying to figure out a way how this can be like used or abused and I can't figure out a way. Maybe someone in the comments can figure it out. How can this be abused? Another border! It's Australia! How are you doing? Judging by your city health, not good. There's so many barbs in the way, I'm gonna need another forward staging post. Speaking of which, time to use the first one. Go knights! Surround Colombia's capital. I found Colombia's army. It's a bunch of archers. If I didn't have knights, I actually would be able to do something. Nice knowing you, Colombia. My last words to you. Know that you did better than Australia. One more chop and Ant Menanke is done. One of the strongest wonders in the game. Just look how good these tiles are. No longer can we call you bad Tibar. From now on, good Tibar. Rock tree seems a bit advanced for 1000 BC. Look who got angry at us. Be angry as much as you want. Won't change the fact you're last in score. Upgrade chariots to knights to end Australia's misery surrounding Canberra. They can get that's two out of the five capitals we need. To get the rest of them we need to venture further east. Even with knights it's surprisingly difficult to get through this mountain pass. I just love the city of Ur. Entmenanki, insane yields, ziggurats everywhere. Our empire is flourishing. 130 signs on turn 81. It might be a tile turn but we finally got through the mountain pass. But we still haven't found anyone except barbarians of course. There should be three more players. After we clear these three barb camps there will be no more barbarians on this side of the world we no longer need to live in fear where is everyone finally someone gandhi oh no it's gandhi bring another settler with a new city we will supply by upgrading our knights to cursors continuing our world conquest with the fall of india i do love how angry gandhi looks we must push forward to the ends of the world after an embarrassingly long time and many many barb camps along the way we found the lands of the Scythians. weren't even that far from gandhi we just went in the completely wrong way. Even though the Scythians have crossbowmen, they stand no chance against cursiers. Barbarian cavalry. No, the barbs got up to us in tech. There's only one more sev. Why does it need to get more difficult at the end? All our fighting against the barbarians gave us 21,000 faith and enough governor promotions to give every governor all their promotions. Also, we settled too many cities. Behold, the great Sumerian city of Baltimore. Actually ran out of names. Sumerian engineers have toiled away to perfect the tank. In the distance, those are borders. We found the last player, the Gauls. The Clairvor, so many barbs. It's like the barbs are defending the Gauls. Go tank. There goes two thirds of the city's health. Barbs or not, all it took was two hits from our tank. Domination victory. Now to the score screen. I want to see if any of the AI managed to build a second city. They didn't. The barbs were just too much for them, but not too much for us. Mighty Sumeria. Let's finish what we started. Clearing the world from barbarians. With these last barbarian camps, gone there are no more barbs and no more will ever spawn we made sure of that by leaving units everywhere to keep the world safe it's been a crazy game but fun that's everything for this video like subscribe become a member see you next time bye